Hi, my name is Notrix. I'm a trap metal artist and producer. Today I'm going to tell you the story of how I made the biggest mistake in my music career so far. That resulted in me having to reset my Spotify page back to zero, deleting all the progress I made over the past 10 months. It all started in March when my country decided to invade another country. You can check out what I think about this war in the music video. I'll post the link below. And all my bank accounts were frozen from the outside world. I panicked because I had a music video coming up soon. It was huge for me. Um, yeah, I will post a link to it below too. And so I panicked that I wouldn't be able to promote it. So I looked up top music PR firms and Starlight PR was one of them. On their website, they had lots of wonderful stories of how they'd been used by Lil Uzi Vert, Boogie with a Hoodie and other big artists. Once again, I was panicking. I was not thinking straight. I needed to invest into promotion ASAP while I still had a chance. So I went ahead. I first started noticing that something was off when I saw that the blog placements were made with phony websites, when the radio interview that was supposed to be with an established hip hop radio station turned out to be a podcaster with 600 followers. But what was the worst was not the money that I lost they inflated the number of followers I had on my Spotify. I got some 20,000 streams out of this and a never-ending pain. I lost my artist radio immediately. I contacted them and asked them to stop, but they responded that all those numbers were legit. I went into a huge correspondence with them. I requested a breakdown of the services they provided. They stopped responding. I thought, all right, I'm screwed, but I'm going to work hard. I'm going to release more tracks and it will balance out eventually. It never did. The old spikes in numbers continued from time to time with suspicious changes in followers going on again and again. One day, Spotify deleted all the fake followers that I had and the number went back to 300, which is the healthy level for an artist my size. And I was relieved. But some days later, it all went back. It seemed like I was put on some list of artists to be botted. So here am I, five months later, going ahead with a very tough decision. I'm going to reset my page and start from scratch on Spotify. I'm going to walk you through this whole process so that you don't feel alone if you found yourself in this difficult situation. I couldn't find any resources on how you can make a new page under the same name, and I was worried. But DistroKid provided me with detailed instruction, and this is how it works. I'll put the link to this into description. You go to Fixer, you press my music is on the incorrect page, then you select Spotify, which is great so that you can, don't have to mess with other platforms. You press your artist name and no, let's make a new Spotify page for this artist. There, that's all. Now we start from scratch. I am 100% certain this is the right idea in this case. I hope this helps you and from now on you manage to avoid scammers and bots. Good luck to you on this difficult path and keep grinding. So this is an update from a week later. The next day after I requested to reset my Spotify page, uh, Spotify for Artists and Districted both uh, emailed me back. And uh, this is what I got from Artist Support. Uh, they were trying to tell me that um, changing everything and resetting everything to zero would only be pos possible if I changed my artist name. 
whereas uh, moving to a new URI page uh, would mean that all the followers are moved to that one. Um, but still it fit my cause because I would then ensure that those bots are not tracking me any longer. And uh, I then went ahead asking Spotify to uh, look into those follower numbers and slash those that seem to be bots. So this is what I have uh, a week later. Um, the listeners number is reset to zero. Uh, all the followers stayed, although I think they're already starting to do some work on uh, um, slashing the number. Um, at the same time, I'm already seeing some real good improvement in the source of streams. Before, um, the streams from my catalog were at around 20 around 70 percent and now it went to 28 which is a really healthy number whereas the algorithmic playlists have gone straight up uh, which means that algorithms are now picking up my music and i'm getting out there i i've also noticed uh being played more in discover and on artist radios uh, so that really works uh, last but not least, I'm still on all the uh, playlists that I was before, the user playlist, which helps a lot because that means that I'm going to restore the numbers back to where they were pretty quickly. But at the same time, it will really help with algorithms. I hope it helps. Good luck. <laughs>